So when you're working in InDesign, it's important to, um, when you bring in images, not to copy and paste, not to drag them in, but to place them in. Uh, and there's a lot of different options with size and things of that nature. So I have a background color here. I made that background color just by making a, a square and filling it with a color. Instead of me accidentally clicking on this all the time, I'm going to lock this layer, start a new layer where I'm going to place my images in. Place my images in, and now when I go to place, I'm going to choose this American Gothic image. It's a four by five picture. Once image, if I just click once, it places the full size image in there, which is fine. Um, you can do things like add outlines to it, just so it stands out a little bit more. Remember, in InDesign, you can view the print preview like so. Now, um, sometimes you're going to want to take these images and make them different sizes. So if I want to place in, but this time instead of just clicking, I want to make an image the size that I want it to be. So if I make a smaller image, it'll fit into there. The other thing you may want to do is sometimes you want to have a box that you place into beforehand. So you make the frame first and then choose the image that you're going to place in. Now, this is where the fitting comes into play. Think of this box as a frame and the picture sits inside of it. So I can do two things. I can click on the frame itself. So the frame would be my red line here. And if I click on this dot, it selects the actual image. And now I can move this picture within the frame, which is kind of cool. So I can size and adjust based on what I want to fit into that picture. I can also then change the frame size as well. So I can click on the frame itself and adjust from there. The other cool thing is you have all these fitting options too. So when you have an image selected like so, there should be all these different fittings. Fit free proportionally will fit to the frame even size, fit content proportionally, fit frame the content so the frame will adjust to the size of the image, fit content to frame, so it'll stretch to the frame size. You can center it within the frame, um, and there's all those sorts of options there too. Not only can you place into squares, but you can also place into circles. And by the way, the, the shortcut is Command D to get that to pop open. So now it's not fitting there very well. Maybe I'll say fitting, fit content proportionally and still maybe need to stretch it a little bit so it fits that circle better maybe move this guy down okay so you don't have to place just into um, squares or rectangles you can place into any type of shape that you like so that's a little bit with placing images that'll help you with the um, first mini project